Hi, this is Debbie, and we are going to log in to practice Fusion for the first time. As a preparation for this, an administrator in practice Fusion for the clinic, like Sister Kathy, needs to set up your login. And what that will do is generate an email that will go to your personal email account. And you have to log into your own personal email account to finish the login registration process. And that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to start Internet Explorer as my browser. And I'm going to my personal email. So I'm going to log into gmail.com with my particular password and log in. So I'm logging into my email. And inside of my email, I have one from Practice Fusion. And the subject is log in and get to know your EHR. So I go into that email. And there are a lot of icons and pictures here that don't show up. So I'm going to click on display images below so I can see those. And now the whole message is here. And I scroll down because in the middle of this email is the information I need. So it's telling me I'm going to need my practice ID. That's Clara's house, all one word. I have a username here, jdal4840. And I have a password that's random characters. So I'm going to take a shortcut and copy the password to the clipboard so I don't have to retype it. Though you may retype it if you want. You could print out your email and then retype the password. But I'm going to take a shortcut and I'm going to put the password in the clipboard. So I highlight the password with my mouse. I press the control button and C. That copies it to the clipboard. And I click on login. And it takes me to a Practice Fusion login. Okay, and if there's another person who has logged into this machine before you, you erase their name. So I'm going to put my login, jdow4840. And I'm going to paste in the password. And to do that, I hold down the control button and press V. And there's the password. The practice ID, as I mentioned previously, is Clara's house, all one word. So I have the three pieces of information I need, the practice ID, my username, and my password, and I click login. And we log into Practice Fusion. It takes a few seconds because we're talking to a computer in San Francisco. And once it starts, it asks me several questions. So the first thing it does is ask me to agree to their terms. And you can read this. You can scroll down and read the whole agreement. You can print it. And once you're satisfied that you understand it, you click on the I agree to all terms button in the lower right. So I'm clicking on that button, which takes me to a second screen. And I select a security question. So I'm going to choose a security question, because if my password gets foobarred for some reason, or I forget it, I can answer this question and it will, it will issue a new password or reset my password. So, what was the name of your first pet? And I'm going to put Maggie. I go down and click on the next button. And now it welcomes me to Practice Fusion and asks me to choose a new password. The rules for the password are in the bottom. And I'm going to pick one that has uppercase, lowercase, and numbers in it. So it has to have three out of the four listed in the lower left. 
uppercase, lowercase numbers and symbols. So I'm picking a password and I'm typing it in both fields. If I can remember what I typed. And if they don't match, they'll tell you. So I've got my new password and my verified password. I click the next button and they want to know my specialty. So I don't have a specialty because I'm not a medical person. If you're an MA, if you're not a doctor, you don't need a specialty. So I'm going to click unknown or NA and I'm going to click next. And the next thing that comes up is a notice about systems maintenance. And once I click this button, I'm in. So I'm going to stop here because the next screen will show patient names and that violates HIPAA. But we have logged in for the first time. So thank you much. See you at the next film.